In this video is showing electric bike buying guide and 14 checkpoints before buying electric bike. Please watch my video and don't forget to comment on my video. Before buying electric bike, 14 checkpoint. When buying an EV, you have to choose the right electric bike scooter, which matches your requirements. Several factors affect your decision making when purchasing an electric two wheeler. Number 1 Cost The first factor to consider while buying an EV is the cost. You have to be clear about your budget and look for an electric scooter bike in that price bracket. The cost of an electric two wheeler plays a vital role in your purchase decision. In the current scenario, even a slow speed electric scooter can cost around rupees 50,000 to 1 lakh. Once charged, the bike can run up to 60 minus 300 kilometers without causing you any trouble at all. So keep this in mind before deciding to purchase an electric two wheeler. Number 2 is speed or riding range. One of the main concerns while buying an electric two wheeler is the riding range. You can consider performing thorough research on the riding range of currently available electric bikes and scooters before deciding to buy one. Usually, the slow speed electric scooter will have a range of around 50 km, and the high speed electric scooter will deliver a range of around 70 se 140 km. High-end electric motorcycles with bigger battery packs will deliver a riding range of around 150 km on a single charge. So, it all depends on which category of electric scooter bike you are buying. On a single charge. So, it all depends on which category of electric scooter bike you are buying. Number 3 Battery Life The battery is one of the most expensive components of an eco-friendly two-wheeler. So, always check the battery life before deciding to buy an electric bike or scooter. Replacing the battery pack of a two-wheeler can be an expensive affair. Usually, the life of a battery pack depends on the type of battery and the usage pattern. The new lithium-ion battery packs offer better life when compared to lead batteries or nickel batteries. Number 4 Motor Power There is a wide range of electric motors with different power outputs. Always choose an electric bike or scooter with the right amount of power output required for your usage. The amount of power your motor will generate will be expressed in watts. W. Common scooters have between 200 and 600 watts. Keep in mind that if your scooter has less than 300 watts, it will likely have trouble climbing steeper hills. The top speed will greatly depend on the motor power as well. While this is not a precise formula by any means, and there will be many other factors that determine the max speed you can get out of your scooter, you can expect a kilometer per hour for every 10 se 20 W of power your motor has. This doesn't apply to the most powerful scooters. The motor power can vary over time. Number 5 Charging Stations When you buy an electric scooter bike, the manufacturer will usually install the home charging station at your desired location. But only a home charging station is not enough. Public charging stations are also crucial. Make sure that the electric vehicle brand has a good network of public charging stations so that you can charge your electric two-wheeler on the road. Number 6 Maintenance Cost Maintaining an electric scooter bike is inexpensive when compared to conventional two-wheelers. An electric two-wheeler has less moving parts and doesn't require frequent service. 
यू नीड नॉट वरी अबाउट द मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट नंबर सेवन आफ्टर सेल सपोर्ट बिफोर चूजिंग एन इलेक्ट्रिक टू व्हीलर ब्रांड कॉन्डक्ट थोरो रिसर्च ऑन द आफ्टर सेल सर्विस एंड सपोर्ट ऑफर्ड बाय द कंपनी बिकॉज अ पुअर आफ्टर सेल सपोर्ट कैन एंड अप इन अ बिटर ओनरशिप एक्सपीरियंस सो डू मेक श्योर दैट द ब्रांड हैज अ गुड नेटवर्क ऑफ सर्विस सेंटर्स इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स आर कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ मशीनरी and every mechanic cannot repair those kinds of vehicles you have to rely on the authorized service centers if anything goes wrong with an electric two wheeler so good after sale support after you own an electric bike scooter helps number 8 startup and company reliability check the performance and business background of the startup before buying any electric vehicle from them reliability is one of the major drawbacks of electric two wheelers due to the lack of charging stations across the country you might not find as many charging stations as conventional fuel stations in case the battery is drained and stop in the middle of the road and if you cannot find a charging station then it will cause you a lot of inconveniences so keep this point in mind before you decide to buy an electric bike or scooter number 9 warranty and guarantee the best thing about buying branded electric bikes and motorcycles is that you get longer warranty and the guarantee specifications this warranty and the guarantee may save you money for they provide your vehicle free servicing for a particular period comparing the warranty and the guarantee provided by the companies is also very important aspect to check before buying any electric vehicle replacing the battery pack and electric motor will cost almost 3 by 4th of the cost of the electric two wheeler in general it is compulsory for an ev company to give the guarantee of 3 years on all the electric parts of the electric vehicle but there are companies which are offering even more than that but without reviewing the service provided by the company all thus maximum load usually electric bikes and scooters are very light as they do not have most of the mechanical components which are found on conventional two wheelers so the overall weight of an electric scooter bike is light and this affects the overall load carrying capacity do check the maximum load capacity of the two wheeled ev so that you will get an idea about whether the electric bike scooter is suitable for your requirement Number 11 running cost Running cost is one of the most important factors to be considered before buying an EV usually the battery powered two wheelers are meant for short commutes and they are more efficient than their IC engine powered counterparts Electric two wheelers have a low running cost and they will reduce your commuting expenses on a longer run keep this point in mind as the running cost depends on the specifications of the battery pack and electric motor number 12 safety features we can see bluetooth connectivity internet connectivity gps music system and even calling feature but keeping aside all the comfort the most important feature is the safety feature one must compare the safety measures offered by the company in the particular vehicle there are various electric bikes already launched having mind blowing safety features like anti theft alarm anti theft wheel lock and off cause the gps can help to lock it the vehicle number 13 brakes 
Electric bikes and scooters are very light when it comes to the overall weight of the vehicle. So, these types of two-wheelers do not come with high-end brakes. Usually, most of the electric two-wheelers in the entry-level segment come with drum brakes. High-end two-wheeled EVS will be equipped with disc brakes and hardly a few models come with ABS, anti-lock braking system. So, you have to consider this point. Number 14 laws. Do note that electric two-wheelers are usually silent in operation. You cannot expect an exhaust sound from a battery-powered scooter or motorcycle as it does not have an engine. So, keep this in mind before switching to an eco-friendly two-wheeler. Thanks for watching my video.